How would you feel about a PC that can remember everything you do? And I'm not just talking about browser history or old messages. I mean a PC that keeps an eye on everything displayed on your screen, every app you have open, how long you spent looking at a picture, all of your credit card transactions, everything. Microsoft is hoping this will make you feel empowered and not spied upon once the newest Windows 11 update, called 24H2, drops with the feature we just talked about, dubbed Recall. The idea is relatively simple. Windows 11 will take snapshots of your screen every few seconds and save them to disk. Using AI, these snapshots will become easily searchable using natural language. So if you need to ask it a question like, show me every message where I discussed Canadian maple syrup futures, Recall can locate those for you even if you completely forgot when the messages were sent or even what program you were using. It happens to me all the time. It's pretty easy to see how this would be extremely useful for quickly finding an important piece of information, but it's also obvious that Windows has to collect lots of information for the feature to work properly. Recall uses a minimum of 25 gigabytes of space if you have a rather small 256 gigs SSD, and the default amount that's allocated increases with larger disk sizes. And of course, Microsoft is aware that this sounds like a privacy nightmare. According to them, all of the data used by Recall never leaves your device and is processed by the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU, in your PC, so the data doesn't need to be sent to the cloud. Of course, this still reinforces the importance of making sure your machine is secure, as Recall won't do things like hide account numbers or passwords. Microsoft says that Recall data is gonna be secured the same way as other data on your PC. But seeing as you're probably not used to thinking of any random ephemeral thing that just happens to be on your screen as becoming part of a semi-permanent record, we're interested to see if Microsoft will beef up security around Recall as time goes on. In the meantime, it is possible to exclude certain programs and web browsers from Recall if you'd like. Thank goodness for that. But here's the thing. There's a very good chance you won't be able to even get recall on your home PC anyway. We'll tell you why right after we thank Backblaze for sponsoring this video. Backblaze is an affordable and easy to use cloud backup solution that starts at just $9 a month. They make it simple by allowing you to back up almost anything from your Mac, PC, or business workstations and access it anywhere in the world with their web and mobile apps. Backblaze also lets you restore your data by web or even by mail. You didn't know it, but you need that. They will ship a hard drive with your data right to your door. And after you're done, you can return the hard drive for a refund. They even have us covered. We actually back up our servers to Backblaze nightly. Sign up and get a 15 day free trial with no credit card required today at backblaze.com slash techquickie. Recall is intended to be a feature on PCs that Microsoft is labeling with Copilot Plus branding, not to be confused with just Copilot, the Windows AI assistant that has already been out for a while. Copilot Plus PCs must have 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, but also importantly, have to have an NPU rated for at least 40 trillion operations per second. Right now, there aren't any current consumer grade x86 CPUs out there that include an NPU this powerful. By comparison, Current Intel and AMD products are capable of less than half of the number of operations. This means the first products certified for Copilot Plus will instead be laptops that contain Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus chips, which are ARM-based and will serve as something of a competitor to the M-series chips found in Apple devices. Although there has already been one tinkerer who has gotten at recall working on lower spec systems that don't have an NPU, most folks will either need to buy one of these new laptops, which will be out later this month, or wait until late 2024 when the 24H2 update drops for x86 PCs, and when we're expecting to see CPUs from Intel and AMD that feature compatible NPUs. Are you looking forward to having a search feature this powerful, or does it seem too creepy for you to be interested? Let us know down in the comments, and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other video on NPUs if you want to find out more about how they work.